clearly when you did this rally, you would have known that you were breaking the law, technically. Did that bother you? Uh, well, that isn't right. Uh, we had uh, a lot of ongoing discussions with the police and everything was OK, and they agreed to um, e enable our rally to end in a march to Downing Street. So there was completely no problem at all. Uh, we are a political rally and those are allowed. However, at the last minute, a different group of policemen turned up and arrested me. And when I was in the van, I asked them, uh, what is going on? And they indicated, let's say, that this came from on high. So as far as we can see, it's a political decision to arrest me, whereas allowing a Black Lives Matter uh, event at the same time, or, or, or further down, the, down into Parliament Square, um, Allow that to happen. And what so was the I reason? What was the calm, reason given to you? Yeah, I mean, you raise an interesting point. I'm not really sure why you're being singled out uh, for a ten thousand pound fine yes. when there have clearly been a lot of other mass protests. What was the reason given to Absolutely, you yeah. as to why you have been targeted when, as you said, so many Black Lives Matter protests have taken place yeah, without no, they, anyone they, being fined? No. Peers. Uh, peers, uh, uh, it's interesting talking peers to peers. Yeah, we isn't don't it? meet um, many other but peers. But no, they, they didn't give. <laughs> I actually so have a brother. Uh, I have a brother uh, called uh, Jeremy to, <laughs> to make things even it's more all weird. Too weird. But we'll come to okay, that later. that's good. No, they they didn't give a reason as to why I was singled out, and I should think you uh, peers should challenge Sadiq Khan to explain why he's got political policing in London now and also challenge him, if it's not political, allow us to have another rally on the 26th of September, just before Parliament... OK, well, uh, I would say, uh, I, would say I, don't understand, I don't understand why you've been singled out. Trafalgar Square that, again, 26th of September. Yeah, on, on that point, I can uh, agree with you, it seems irrational and unfair. But shall we look Good. at the and reasons we, and we will why you come. But, yeah, let's, but let's, let's get to what you were actually protesting about. Do you believe... The coronavirus. Yes, do you believe the coronavirus pandemic is real? Well, there's various views on this. I mean, some some doctors say uh, that actually what we're seeing is some sort of flu that's been around for 46 years, and others say, well, uh, it doesn't exist at all. There isn't actually a well, virus. What's your, what's your view? Everything which happens is exaggerated. Well, let me. Well. Uh, what we're doing is we're challenging the government to give actual evidence that there is a virus and we've given them till the 5th of September to reply to show understanding. Hang on a moment. The Prime Minister himself was hospitalised with the virus. How much more evidence do you need? Well, was he hospitalised with the virus or was he ill from something else? You see, there's a lot of claims going on uh, and, of course, there might have been something happening in the past. You're suggesting the British now, Prime Minister see. invented... OK, just to clarify, you are suggesting the British Prime Minister invented having a virus that may not exist? I don't know if anyone in, invented it or not, but I would say that uh, the numbers of people getting whatever they're getting is declining rapidly and there's no justification whatsoever 25 million for people a continuing well, Again, lockdown. Mr Corbyn, let me just jump in. Just to clarify the numbers, 25 million people around the world have tested positive for coronavirus, COVID-19. Well, uh, yes, and, but you see... And, yeah. and over 800... Piers, you well, hang on, you hang on, let me finish the question, then I will the, let you these answer. These tests don't work. Let the me tests the, do not work. Let me finish the question. And over don't, you, don't interrupt me when I'm I won't. Now. I'll let you answer. Over 800,000 people have now died from COVID-19. That is a demonstrable fact. Now, what part of that do you think does not constitute a pandemic? Well, 800,000 people have died and they've been labelled COVID when it might have been completely something else. It is not a pandemic because the numbers dying are nothing different from a normal year of people dying as they die all the time. And secondly, it is not a high consequence infectious disease and that was declared by the government and the World Health Organisation on March the 19th. Please, so what we um... have is a psychological operation, a psychological operation to close down the economy in the interest of mega corporations are uh, who are oh, so, going out of massive more than joblessness 40, 000, happening upon Piers us Corbyn, now. More, more than 40,000 people have died in this country as a result of Covid directly. Yeah, people are dying what's all the insult, time. Piers Corbyn, and what's an insult COVID. to no, their family no, 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 to no. say it's some kind of fiction well, listen to, to Dr. boost Vernon international okay. pharmaceutical companies? 
Listen, well, it is boosting pharmaceutical companies and, and big telecom who are making billions and billions out of this while the ordinary British worker is going to the wall, losing jobs. If those pharma companies so are coming up with treatments return of, that return can help of the people economy. who are suffering Pardon? and potentially find a vaccine that can prevent long-term you don't need illness a vaccine. and There's death. There's no need for a vaccine. That is entirely we justified, no, 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 no. isn't it? Vaccines it's not cause a fiction death. In order the to history boost of them. listen to me. Listen to me. You're interrupting. You're interrupting. The history of recent modern vaccines shows they make people more ill. There is already a cure for these COVID symptoms, namely chloroquine and zinc. So there's no need That's for a vaccine a That's whatsoever a I'm sorry. I'm except sorry. to make money okay. for the mega okay. corporations Mr. Corbyn, and the Mr. pharmaceutical Corbyn, industry. Mr. Corbyn, there's no need for hydroxychloroquine. it. You should scrap it because you, the viewers, are paying yeah, for it. Mr Corbyn, if you may let me jump in. What are you uh, telling me about hydroxychloroquine? It's not please, a cure please, please. for COVID-19. That's a complete lie. It's not a cure. No, the doctors who've done it have said so, and it works. No, no they haven't. And there's it's no not, evidence it's not yet a cure. from Boris Johnson it's, it's that we not have a, a virus. There may be there's a virus, maybe there's not. I don't, mind you, I don't mind you coming on and talking about these things, but if you're going to state bold lies, like hydroxychloroquine oh, well, being I, a no. cure for COVID-19, that is simply uh, not look, true. I'm relying on expert doctors, on expert no, doctors say this, and I suggest what you say isn't true. You're relying Listen on conspiracy to theorists, theorists wank jobs. Listen and you're to not taking Dr. account no, 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 no. of studies that on have been done on statement. hydroxychloroquine. On you vaccines. just use phrases like conspiracy theory when you've got nothing to say. OK, on vaccines. What happened vaccine. with, what me happened with measles if yes. vaccines don't work? Yes, these are earlier type of vaccines. I'm talking about modern vaccines. Did it work, more then, the vaccine flu vaccines, for measles? Did that work? Flu. Did it work? Um, uh, it might well have worked, but the vaccines of the past are different from the ones now, which have many additives, okay. which are, in general, dangerous. And the statistics show that more people get lower immune systems when okay. they've no. had okay. vaccines. Okay, let's bring in Dr. Can we bring in someone who is an expert doctor who may fact. be very concerned, frankly, about what you're saying? Dr. Hillary. Mm. That um, is extremely it, dangerous, what Vernon we've just Coleman. heard. Yes. For example, okay. Mr Corbyn, his Here's statements Corbyn just... are littered with Let's errors, listen. absolutely littered with dangerous errors. The hydroxychloroquine and no. zinc, for example, completely dissed by hundreds of different experts. No. Let me tell you about completely the virus not existing. The, Corbyn, the, virus. Virus. The, the, the virus has been by identified by the electron microscope. We have sequenced no. the entire no. ribonucleic no. acid genome. Oh, so sequencing. we know exactly no. that this is a new virus and it's nothing to do with viruses that we've seen no. in the last 40 years. All of your statements are not only dangerous. Let All me right, tell you about modern vaccine. You say that can the old reply, vaccines okay. could have worked. Can they absolutely did work. Measles, for example, a, a we saw no, 460,000 no. cases every year of measles before vaccination. After that, we saw 130, a reduction of 99.9%. Yeah. .9%. talking about Meningococcal meningitis, in which okay. kills 10% of people, was introduced. Okay, the look, vaccine was introduced so in 1999, quite recently, before. and you're we saw numbers decrease from 883 to 28. Modern a reduction of 97% and a huge vaccine. reduction in mortality. You are dangerous. You shouldn't be preaching. You're not medically qualified. I don't no, know where you, you get your rubbish fake news from. And you shouldn't be on air. The real... The, uh, uh, that I think you've probably, I think you've probably the real nailed it, Dr. Hillary. About frankly. modern vaccines. Modern vaccines okay. work very well. You're frightened. To... Meningococcal the, meningitis. No. Go and have a the look at the so stats. Called testing, the so-called testing. Here's Corbyn. The so I think we've heard the expert evidence virus is, from the that doctor. Is a bananas and we'll have to bring the their, interview no, to are, an end. Here's Corbyn. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this they're, question. They're Do you believe here's DNA Corbyn. and RNA rather than finding a virus? Here's Corbyn. Let me ask you another question. Do, found a virus, Do we have to Mr. Corbyn? Test. I understand. There may be one. There may Mr. be not. Corbyn. Give them a chance. Uh, Mr. Corbyn. Yes, do, you, do you believe yes, there is a please. link between 5G masts uh, and COVID? Well. That's uh, the question that is not correctly posed. The important thing to understand is that electromagnetic radiation, 4G, 5G, and and you know normal Wi-Fi, which is mostly 4G, do lower your immune systems. And the statistics show very clearly, and this is proven by objective tests going over years. 
that those things do in decrease. It's actually complete nonsense, isn't it? What you've just said is what you've just said is no, with respect. Go online. It's utter nonsense. Measurements Come show five G is sixty six times below net. the no. safety limit. Here. For harmful okay. radiation, meaning it is not strong you, you, enough to harm no, ourselves no, 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 no. or have a negative effect on our immune thing, system. The important thing is not the amount of radiation, the important thing is the frequency. You're arguing just like the tobacco lobby. We have a new tobacco lobby. They said warming your lungs doesn't matter. It was the tar that mattered. And the same thing with and climate 5G change is warming your skin change that matter. Is, uh, it's the frequency is, that matters. And climate change is another hoax, yeah, man made. Uh, fossil fuels, all the hoax, everything made up? Uh, well, the, 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 sun, the sun rules uh, weather and climate, and I can tell you that Christmas in Britain is going to be very cold, and we might even have snow there, and this comes from our long range forecast. Okay, let's go to another expert, our meteorologist, me Laura Tobin. <laughs> Do you feel as incensed as Dr. Hillary? Shock horror, it's going to be cold in winter and there might be some snow. That's just the most vague, vague thing snow, that anyone's snow, ever said. Uh, snow on Christmas Day. No, no, I'm letting you know there might be snow on Christmas Day. I thought that we should excite peers. All peers is get excited by snow on Christmas Day. Am I okay, right? well, the world is warming you, and climate uh, change is very, very real. Piers Corbyn, can I ask you, do, do you have these conversations with your brother who wanted to be British Prime Minister? Do I have what? The what? Do you patient? have these same conversations with your brother Jeremy? Uh, well, I have many conversations. I mean, uh, he, I'm sure we agree on many things about the current British economy and the crashing of jobs, which is an utter monstrosity. And I say the answer to that is end lockdowns now and save jobs, save lives, save the economy, save culture. How many of your views does he agree with? Uh, I don't know. But we agree on many things and we disagree on a number of things. Does he believe COVID-19 uh, COVID exists? Or does he think, like you, it's all been drummed uh, up by the I evil pharmaceutical well, no, people? What I'm saying is, no, Piers, listen, listen to me. I said we're giving the government a chance to prove under standard tests that it exists. Of and course it exists, Piers Corbyn. If they've got proof... You're talking no, complete nonsense, no. man. I'm okay. saying we're giving them a chance.